Good morning, Mazura. Good morning. You're yeah, welcome to this conversation. Thank you. Terrorism sponsors have been published by the federal government. Mm. All of them not turn us mm. Muslims. And one of them is Mahmoud Toko, who was why indicted by the former decision. Wow. And allied to Sheikh Gumi. What's mm. your take on it? Well, I think uh, we're all hearing it from the horse's mouth and it's written all over the places, you know, uh, in Nigeria now. That the things we have been hammering and hammering for a very long time, we'll be beating the drum, hitting the guns about sponsors of terrori terrorism across Nigeria, which of course have been saying they are not on us. But the North should tell the whole world the, 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 the open truth. Are you listening to me? The truth about whom the Boko Haram's the bandits and Saru terrorists, henchmen terrorists are. It is a not that we tell the whole world whom they are. We have been saying it. So this time around, there was a time we learned, um Dubai, revealed to Nigeria, the money, the account, the banks in UAE from where terrorists, money funding are coming from. They even promised Buhari that they are going to reveal all of them, all the sponsors. And they actually did that. Buhari did not let Nigerians know about it. Buhari administration swapped the names, the sponsors, under the carpet. Until today, we've seen it. The Mamu that was arrested en route, I think Iran, in Cairo, Egypt, by CIA, is one of the major principal sponsors of terrorism across Nigeria. So this time around, I think it's left for the current administration to take action against these people. If not, they should forward their names to the United States of America. Though I know that America would have known. They have known about it, the sponsors, earlier than now. I know America, they have, they have known the sponsors. So what happened is that, why not take action? Why not ICC, the body ICC International Criminal uh, Court, take action against sponsors of terrorism across the world? Look at what is going on in Egypt today, uh, Israel today, sorry, in the Middle East. It was because of an act of terror, terror terrorism. Hamas, they attacked Israel. That's a, that's, that was a terrorist attack on September, uh, October 7th that culminated, escalated to what is going on today in the Middle East between the Philistines, Palestinians, and the Israelis. Are you listening to me? They attack Israel, they kill everybody, and after that attack, this is how Israel reacted. Israel's reaction today. Israel is busy committing genocide according to some enemies that are targeting genocide. Israel is busy trying to stop terrorism across Middle East Europe. That is the war going on now. Nigeria has known the perpetrators, the people that funded or have, that are funding Boko Haram, Hesmen, I swear, today Nigeria has known it. So we are like crossing our fingers to watch the aftermath, the effect, the result of this finding. Does, have this, does this have to do with anything, Meeti Allah? Yes, Meeti Allah, I tell you, promotes number four, fourth deadliest terrorist group in the world, according to United Nations, according to Forbes rating. Meeti Allah, I repeat, promotes number four, the biggest terrorist group in the world. Metal is an umbrella, is a platform uniting, but unites all the Katuriaras in the whole country of West Africa, where that are timely Fulani. Are you listening to me? So the Fulani group called Meti Allah, they are involved on that act. I'm telling you, and Badejo, as I'm talking to you now, they are, they are overall petrol or chairman is in the assessment. 
Why? Terror threats. Terrorism threats. He threatened people. He threatened the whole ethnicities in Nigeria. That they are the strongest tribe in Africa. That they should give them land. Tell you to do that. That they are going to fight war. Bloody war. Jihad against Nigerian nation. Or against Nigerian Nigeria ethnicities. It was a threat. That's why he was arrested. It did not end on that. In the past, during the Buhari regime, Metiala was ruling Nigeria. Metiala was in control. Because Buhari was their grand petrol during his regime. Why? Buhari gave Metiala 100 billion naira in 2020. In the year 2020, what the administration, as MFL, gave Fulani the group called Mighty Allah 1 billion naira. They used it to do what? To buy arms, and actually, they bought arms. Why? To secure themselves. Which is why, anywhere you see a Katuriara in Nigeria, you will see him with either AK 49 or AK. 47. Confiscated automatic weapons. They use that money to buy these arms. Are you listening to me? So if you, if you ask me, I will tell you that if they bring the list today, Buhari name is there. Buhari name is on the list. Mamu name is on the list. Erofa is on the list. Listen and listen good. This is a good allegation. I alleged that Arifai was among the people that invited Boko Haram insurgents into our country called Nigeria. The bandits, Boko Haram, the Hesmen, over the years have been committing genocide in both Northern and Southern Kaduna. They are asking for that land, Southern Kaduna, to grab it by all means because the land over there is green. Satan Kabina, I quote again, is bigger than Kanu states, landmarks of Kanu state five times. Which is why the terrain of that area harbors harbor all manner of terrorist groups, ranging from Hesme, bandits, Ansaru, even Aswap is not left out. Are you listening to me? So what is going on now is what we don't know. Why? We don't know how the current government is going to take action against this insurgency sponsors in the north. I've nothing saying it on social media that it is the north, it is the emirs, it is the sultanas, it is the local chief, chiefs in the north, chiefs that will tell the world how come about Boko Haram and other terrorist groups in northern Nigeria. You see, I know, of course, that bandits migrated from the Sahel countries. But who are the ones that host them here? Who are hosting them? Who are sponsoring them? They are all from north. All in the name of Islamization. The people that are sponsoring them are not as that want the whole Nigeria to be what? Islamized. They want to Islamize the whole Nigeria. But they know they are, of course, they are, they are, they are deadliest enemy. They are deadliest enemy, the enemy of Islamization. That started since 18th century. There is a race, there is a tribe that has turned their back on what? Islamization process. They said no, and they are saying no, as I'm talking to you now. The Igbo nation is the reason why Fulani has not taken over the whole Nigeria. I'm not making mouths. I'm not here to boast. It is good to Igbo. Because Igbo, man, is an opposite of Islamization. Igbo nation is an opposite of Islam. We said no to Islam. We can never be and you can never Islamize us. That's why you see this war going on there, because their target is southern Nigeria, and you know already that Osman Dafodio failed in 1804. He was slow. A tower of Igala cut his head. Mono, mono. A tower of Igala cut the head of 
Atman that followed. He died. And all his warriors ran away. Because they were on their way to the land to meet people warriors, of course. That's who we are. And today, they are trying to succeed on Islamizing mid belt which is why they are killing them in their large numbers. And the one is not doing anything. Could be that Fulani man is an evil man. Gowan would have woken up from his slumber and at least called the garrison soldiers, military clique, as he did in 1967, to kill all of them. But today, they are the Fulanis that he joined forces, allied together with the mid belt, Benue, Yudoma, TV. Junkons and rest of those middle bed pigs and fought Hebrews. Killed and killed and killed large numbers of Hebrews. 1967, 68, 69, and 70. Today it is his turn. Go on to the work now. He's supposed to wake up. See, the blood you wasted in the past is coming after you. That is the message I'm giving to go on. The blood he wasted as he let those military click that subjected people to what that kind of genocide 57 years ago i'm telling you that blood is following him that's why the middle beds are paying the price in their large numbers in the question of what I want to do during the war, I want to, I want to receive the, 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 the prize. I want to wear, after the war, give every man 20, 20 pounds. When we went to the bank to catch out, 20 pounds to my papa, 20 pounds to my uncles. And today you see, you see the level that God has brought us. So, for several a man so wet in the future, he repents. Are you listening to me? See, the sponsors of these groups, terror groups, terror groups, should be what? Made known to the whole world. If Nigerian nation, if Nigerian judiciary that is infiltrated already by Fulani and the Aousa could not take good action, they should say, take them to USA to try all of them. I don't think that Israel will be fighting and fighting and spending money to stop Al Shabaab, Hamas, Hezbollah, ISIL, Al Qaeda in the Middle East Europe. While we are here busy romancing terror sponsors, people that are sponsoring, sponsoring terrorists, terrorism in Nigeria, and electing them into government. And electing them into government, there are many of them that partook in the past administration of Buhari. Pantami is a member of Al Qaeda that partook in the regime, in the previous regime of Muhammad Buhari. Pantami, a member of Al Qaeda, on it up on camera, he said it. Yet Nigeria allowed that man, such person, to take part in the previous administration. Today, currently, they are in Tinubu regime. Today, they are moving freely in the north, working hard and harder to make sure that they annihilate all the Christians in the mid belt. That will take their land. Can, can Tinubu deal with the Northern Kaba? Uh, Northern Kaba, if Tinubu works well, if he tells himself the truth, there's nothing anybody can do about it. He is the president by the Appian Way. Throw the Ap Appian Way, you know, from the window, from the back door. As he got it from the back door, he has the power, all power, you know, invested on him to do anybody anything in Nigeria. Tribu can deal with any any cabal anywhere, even Buhari, because he's the president. He can deal with Buhari, but you can see the kind of uh, 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 honor, uh, uh, benefit given to ex presidents by Nigerian constitution. So if you look after going through the constitution, I don't think he can do Buhari anything. The one I know is that currently, from up and away, from back door, Tinubu become Nigerian president. He can do anything because of much, much power invested on him. Okay, lastly, Nana is now one thousand four to a dollar. Nana being this one thousand two, one four, four hundred. It's still a shame. It's a change to Nigeria, Nigeria uh, economic technocrats. 
is a chain for Tinubu regime, is a chain for Nigerian politicians, is a chain for CBN governor, is a chain for the current Minister of Finance in Nigeria, is a chain for all the political juggernauts that are partaking in this current administration. Naira falling before dollars is a, is a, is a, is an international, international chain to this current regime. That is my take. Thank you very much. God bless you.